But I noticed something strange while booking my Asian getaway. My plane seems to be making a detour over Alaska. Why is my plane going out of its way to avoid the Pacific Ocean? Is this a mistake? Did I accidentally sign up for the caribou route? At first, you might think this was a safety issue. The Pacific is the largest and deepest of the world's oceans. If a plane encounters a problem over a seemingly endless and bottomless pond of water, the pilots are going to have a rough time finding a safe spot to set her down. Alaska might not be overpopulated with international airports, but it's a lot better than the middle of the ocean. How's that for a tourism slogan? Alaska. At least it's better than sinking. Now, let me show you the real true reason why we have to fly over Alaska just to get to Asia. Check this out. Now, here's the flight pattern on a globe. The guy leaves Seattle, Washington, flies over Alaska, kind of curves around the so-called globe and lands in Asia. Okay. Now, if you still don't get it, let me break it down to you this way. On a globe map, all the pilot had to do was leave Seattle, Washington, fly straight across the sea to Asia, which would have been the shortest route. Fuel-wise, whatever you want to call it, that would have been the shortest route. But he can't do that because it's impossible. Now, let me show you why he takes the route that he takes. Now, let's have a look at the same route on a flat earth map. Okay. Here. We have the United States, the west coast of the United States. Here, we have Asia, which is where the guy went. Well, look what's right in between. Alaska. So if you leave here, go into Asia, guess where you're going to fly across? Alaska. Let me zoom in on the map so you guys can see just a little bit better here. As you can see right there. Alaska, right in between Asia and the United States. Now, let's put a marker on there so you guys can see it's a straight line, straight across. Alaska is right in between. So as you can see, they don't choose to fly that route. They have no choice but to fly that route. Now let's check out a flight from New York to Moscow, Russia. Okay, now if you look up the flight pattern on Google Maps, it will show you a route leaving New York, going through the tip of Canada, then through the tip of Greenland, then through the tip of Iceland, through Sweden, and then into Moscow. Now let me zoom in on this map so you guys can see that better. Like I said, it leaves New York, goes through the tip of Canada, through the tip of Greenland, through the tip of Iceland, over Sweden, and then into Moscow. Now, doesn't that strike a little bit awkward with you guys? I mean, anybody with common sense knows that the fastest route between A and B is in a straight line, as we see here. I mean, you do not have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. It's common sense from point A to point B is a straight line that will always be the fastest and shortest route. So anyways, on a globe, this would be your shortest route from New York to Moscow. But instead, this is the route that they give you. Now, I'm going to show you why they take this route. Let's go to the flat earth map. Now, check out what you have to pass to get from New York to Moscow on a flat earth map, a straight line. Check this out. The edge of Canada, the edge of Greenland, straight over Iceland straight over Sweden and into Moscow. Huh, imagine that. There you go. Now it makes sense. The flight pattern makes total sense on a flat earth map because it has to go straight across those countries to get to Moscow. Now I'm gonna throw a bonus in for you. This is a meme from TikTok from a guy saying, this is how Japan attacked Pearl Harbor according to flat earthers, ha ha ha. Okay, now let's crush this meme. Okay, once again, it's really, really simple. I'm gonna show you guys the real route from Japan to Pearl Harbor. Now check this out. Here we go. Let's show you with the real map, the flat earth map, okay? From 1892, as it says right here, scientifically and practically correct as it is. This is from the Boston Public Library, as you can see there. Published by the Buffalo Electrotype 
and Engraving Company, Buffalo, New York, USA. 10 4 1892. Now let's go right up here. You see this right here? That's the United States. You see this right here? That's Canada. See this right here? That's Alaska. You see this right here? That's Japan. Now, you know what this is right out here? Pearl Harbor. Okay. Now look at the distance. Japan, Pearl Harbor. The shortest and fastest route when you look at the real map. Stop listening to these clowns, these trolls that are here to deceive you. I just showed you the real route right there. Now stop paying attention to these fools.